Do you know that 9 out of 10 or 90% of the Indians suffer from something called no health literacy? So we've always talked about literacy and we know Canada is the most literate, uh, I mean, uh, place of uh, India. But again, what is healthcare literacy? So healthcare literacy is something like how we are, are we able to understand prescriptions, are we able to understand and consume the healthcare information uh, available across us. Lower healthcare literacy then translates these patients, which are for, uh, means uh, failing to seek these timely medical helps in countries, even like UN, US and UK, the healthcare literacy rate is around 50%. Still the USA suffers from the loss of $200 billion due to the cost of ignorance. Now, the diagnostic sector has been a boon in India's healthcare as it leads lends the value-based and timely health insights. We talk that if you are properly getting diagnosed and you're going for regular checkups and screenings, the more are the chances that the diseases can be identified earlier and the treatment can start. So hi, this is Smita Kumar and you're watching this healthcare startup series at MediCircle. We as a healthcare media company have been started with this prime objective to increase the healthcare literacy, mostly among the rural population of India. So in this series today, I'm very proud to welcome yet another women entrepreneur. She is Shweta Gandhi and she's the co-founder of Nirogya. Nirogya makes it like Nirog and Gya. That means you have to be like health and what is the uh, healthy, the Hindi word for healthy is Nirog. So Nirogya makes, I think uh, Shweta would be better briefing it up for us. Uh, Nirogya makes it simple to understand an individual's health test reports for even non-medical professionals. The firm has developed softwares that assist with clinical documentation and reporting. Hi, Shweta. Welcome to MediCircle. Thank you, Smita. Thanks for the lovely introduction and highlighting the problem that is out there we are trying to solve. Uh, so as you rightly said, like uh, health literacy is quite low, not just in India, but globally. And uh, as a consumer of anything, uh, not just healthcare services, it's always good that uh, if the consumer has all the information, he will be able to make the right choice. So uh, in healthcare, it sometimes becomes uh, a question of life and death. So that becomes all the more important. So that's what we are trying to solve at Nirogyan. So Nirogyan means, uh, Gyan means knowledge, the so knowledge of being disease free. So we all can be disease free at least most of the times in our life. So uh, we are trying to empower patients with this kind of knowledge so that they can understand and take charge of their health. Very, very true. And uh, whenever we talk about, uh, especially diagnostic reports, that, that, that is something which confuses us heavily because we don't understand it. And when there is a startup who's actually trying to solve this problem, because whenever we go for a diagnostic test and when the report is handed over to us, we just understand positive, negative, and some very important facts. But uh, even as uh, the doctor-patient ratio is not that good here in India, but it's 2A34, even the doc does not have that much of time to explain it to you each and every parameter, where we are going wrong, where we should be concentrating. In such a case, we definitely need uh, something like Nerokyan, where they are, I mean, offering help on how to understand the diagnostic reports. So tell us more about uh, your startup and... Uh, uh, how is this? How is it going? Sure. Uh, we started Nirogyan three years back, Smita, with uh, this vision of uh, empowering patients every time they interact with the healthcare machinery. They should be uh, in a position to take right decision, very well informed. There should be no anxiety, no feeling of helplessness. They should be, you know, uh, at charge of their health. So our simple motto is that we simplify medical records. The medical records were never meant for a common man. They were always uh, designed in such a way that a, a doctor or you know somebody with a medical degree uh, can understand them. But we realized that as you know uh, we move ahead uh, in 21st century where everything is getting digitized, people are going to Google, they are trying to understand uh, everything that is out there on their medical records. It is very important that we streamline this information so that no false information, no misinformation goes to the user. And 
hereby we drive patient engagement so our motto is you know uh, simplifying medical records and driving patient engagement and we uh, uh, fortunately we have uh, been uh, doing quite well in this space uh, uh, for the last three years obviously as every startup uh, you know faces a lot of challenge but now we are getting good validation patients side also uh, and as well as the provider side so we are getting good acceptance from both both the ends that's that's why it, i mean uh, uh, it, it gives really really lot tremendous joy and most importantly satisfaction because even when if the investors money or your poc with the customers that they definitely believe that some some kind of which the solution which the startup is offering is going to solve their problems so really really good to know this uh, so tell us more about uh, you know gyan like what are the usps it's being a preventative healthcare start uh, startup again there are other uh, competitors in the same space so what are the prime uh, things which you want to promote and take it and scale it up sure so preventive health uh, we've been talking about it for the last decade now it's not something very new we know that you know prevention in time will save you from the cure it will save you time money everything so uh, but yeah where from which angle you know we are unique is uh, uh, most of the startups till date have solved this problem from the patient side they directly go to the patient and try to you know bring out products to them whereas we should understand that though we are developing products for the patient it has to be facilitated by a healthcare providers only healthcare providers like doctors labs as well as hospitals they pay, play a very crucial role in this entire healthcare journey of the patient so we tried making products for the healthcare provider first we tried to empower them so that uh, you know there is no change in the workflow the system remains as it is but we just clean the system we just tweak the system in such a way so that the patient gets the you know the the required information so yeah that, that is one unique point that we solved the problem not from you know uh, this side but from the provider side yeah, yeah. so that's that's one and as your clientele includes i think practo max lab and dr dang's lab so tell us how many uh, i mean lives you have touched so far oh so uh, now we have got around 40 plus clients uh, some of the names you have already uh, mentioned we have all, yeah we have also forayed into middle east we have got uh, three clients in middle east we have got one in us one in uk so as i said this is a global phenomenon not just restricted to india uh, in terms of number of lives that we have touched uh, we have processed 1 million records uh, till date uh, on an average you can say somewhere around 1 to 1.5 lakhs we uh, records we process every month so that's you know, the impact that we are having and almost all the the clients who are there with us they have you know uh, vouched for the service they have renewed month on month so we haven't seen any churn uh, rather they are going for the upsells that we are bringing up uh, so more digital offering so we have got good validation from our clients that's quite interesting to know and uh, your startup has also received funds that that's uh, i mean as i said that is another validation for the startups so you have received funds from arindam halter and vits vilani so let us know how uh, much funds you have raised and how has been the fund utilized uh, till yet sure so uh, we always believed uh, me and my co-founder we always believed that you know finding the right product market fit is very important before you actually raise a huge huge round and you know you start to scale up so we consciously tried to delay the first fund raise so the first fund raise was mostly to get uh, acceptance from the uh, healthcare veterans in the industry so arindam haldar he is the ex ceo of uh, srl thyro care Uh, now these guys believe in our vision so it was a small round it was a 60 lakhs round and it was uh, just to you know uh, build a core team in place and now uh, we are moving to the next uh, seed round uh, which you can say in the next uh, two to three months we are already talking to the investors we have got soft commitments from them and uh, uh, it's around 1 million dollar that we are raising next uh, these funds will mostly be yeah so they will be mostly utilized in uh, building the product 
so uh, what you see right now is is just a smart report simplifying medical records but uh, uh, we are moving towards data analytics also so driving uh, more insights and the uh, uh, moving into more predictive analytics like what all disease are prevalent prevalent in a district what all diseases are more prevalent in a state level or you know what kind of risk uh do you have so that you know you can take necessary action so you can say we are building end to end a patient engagement suite uh with the the first uh, layer was just the patient education and now we are adding health tracking insights patient communication with that so the funds will be largely utilized to build this product and also to have more compliances in place like uh, gdpr hipaa compliance those things and tell us something more about uh, your figure i mean financial figures so what were your revenues in fy 2022 and what you're planning to close in this year fy 2023 so fy 22 i post covid was actually lucky for us most of our clients uh, came back after the second uh, wave of covid so we did uh, it was we just started making revenue then so uh, somewhere around 30 to 40 lakhs is what we clocked in uh, financial year 2022 uh, financial year 23 we are targeting uh, somewhere around uh, 1.5 uh, to 2 crores so we are already uh, the arr is looking healthy it is 100 uh, k us dollars uh, so uh, that way is uh, we we can touch 1 1.5 uh, by 23 year end wow and what are uh, like what are your expansion plans especially like i mean in which places of india or abroad you are planning to take it up and scale it up so that more and more people uh, can access your services so uh, we uh, india was a home market and uh, we have fairly penetrated india uh, so now the next as i told you middle east we have already started getting organic demand we have clients there so next market definitely will be middle east because it is very similar in nature as compared to india uh then us is the market leader when it comes to patient engagement so already you know there are a lot of uh, companies out there who are uh, bringing patient engagement solution ours is a little unique you know as i told you uh, we have got a niche uh, where we are operating so us europe are the next market so you can say uh, somewhere around uh, mid uh, end of financial year 2023 is where we are planning the us and europe gtm as well and any learning or experience you would like to share to all those healthcare entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs who are watching uh, today's healthcare startup series at at many circle so uh, one thing is you know always have your uh, purpose very clear like why did you you know start in the first place uh, because uh, it is a difficult journey it is a long journey it's not uh, that you know you will get results uh, just uh, maybe 6 months down the line one year down the line so if your vision and your purpose is clear then you will stick around you know no matter what kind whatever challenges come your way and there will be a lot of challenge because startup is something which is trying to bring innovation which is trying to bring disruption yeah so uh, uh, it's uh, the first is definitely you know you should be very clear why did you you know uh, left your corporate job or whatever you were doing uh, why did you leave, leave that and you started this and second have patience uh, all throughout your journey that is very important uh, the the short term wins probably will uh, last so so much long but it is the long term success that matters and uh, lastly in terms of business i would say that uh, do the uh, you know the gtm very very quickly like don't uh, just you know uh, stay in your room and just uh, build your product because uh, the more feedback you have from the consumer from the market uh better it will be so the go to market the first go to market should be uh done as soon as possible so we did it within you know the 6 months of uh, uh launching nirogyan so i would say that is like a good amount of time uh to to you know go out there in the market yeah that's that's that's, good. that's i mean that's really important that you are actually trying to solve a real problem uh definitely there could be lot of uh, i mean problems and things that would be requiring lot of patience and uh, dedication but if you are your you believe that this is uh, going to definitely solve a true problem and 
people would definitely change their approach because see again it's it's a huge disruption like even um, whether even if it's solving their problem it's something very new which is coming and uh, we always are very skeptical about something new whatever we are trying or not uh, one quick question there shweta so there has been lot of speculation on especially husband wife duos when it comes to entrepreneurship so but being life partners also they can also be very perfect business partners like with all their hearts and brains they are like conquering the business world uh, we have some quick examples like of uh, gazal alag and varun alag of mama earth then uh, we have uh, bipin prit singh and uh, upasna of mobiquick and shubhra chandra and vivek parashar or prabhakar of chumbak in your case also i think join in and shweta you are were doing great so so but some Sometimes it it uh, it's good also, and sometimes uh, even the investors feel that okay, what will happen if uh, this harmony and love is not there? So, what's your take on that? So fortunately for us, because we uh, started as friends. uh when we you know launched nirogya and then we married in between. So uh, you can. <laughs> uh, so that was I think it has been uh, all good for us. Like obviously there were two. uh times where the personal and professional lives mix so much that it's uh, difficult to discern but yeah mostly you know it has got advantage to us then you know disadvantages okay. because i uh, understand him very well i know his strengths and also you know it has been uh, because of whatever the the relationship we stay together so most of the time when we are together we are talking about the startup so it's like um, our legit baby so <laughs> that so uh, you can say like you know we have been able to uh, uh drive this for so long just because we were life partners and we trusted each other uh, very well like whatever you know he was doing i knew that uh, that there, there was 100% trust and the chemistry was there which was visible to everyone if even if you know went to any uh, uh client or an investors they could uh believe in our uh, story together so now it's our story together so that way i think it has uh, uh, been a uh, 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 mostly it has been a, a positive for us the being a husband by two that's that's very interesting so thank you so much shweta for joining us today for the healthcare startup series we wish you and nirogyan all the best for all your future rounds of funding and because it's it's really going to help us because understanding diagnostic reports and doing further analytics on that that would be i mean, I mean uh, uh, telling you what kind of diseases might be there and what kind of precautions especially lifestyle modification should be you should be doing so that you are more and more healthy and these diseases can be actually i uh, mean prevented so thank you once again for joining and it was a pleasure talking to you thank you so much nitha